Cheers, everybody. Welcome, welcome. How are you today? I'm good. So we are back for another exciting episode of Bourbon and Booze. Hopefully you're enjoying all of our videos Monday through Friday. Make sure you check them each and every day. They drop at noon. Um, we do all sorts of liquors, coffee, and cocktails. So if you do like what we're doing, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Please hit the subscribe button. That really means a lot to us. Um, we're really trying to get the channel to grow. And it's hard to decide what we should cut out and shouldn't. We know that we should cut out something, but, oh, sorry. Um, but let us know by subscribing and leaving comments. Nice comments, pretty comments, gentle yeah. comments. Not hateful. Not hateful. Don't uh, be a hater. <laughs> today we are going to go to a blended scotch that I have never heard of in my life. I think you might have heard of it. Well, this is something that Cody got for Christmas. Um, we're trying to get through our massive backlog, and I, this is a Christmas of uh, 2019. So two years ago? Two Christmas. Two Christmases ago, I believe. And uh, we tend to sometimes get more coming in than going out, which is a great thing for the bar. A bad thing for my pocketbook. So this is the Glen Logie. 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 It's not Logie. It's Logie. L O G I E. Glen Logie. Blended Scotch. I believe it's from the Glen Logie. It says distilled and bottled in Scotland. Um. From Hay and McLeod Limited of Glasgow. So hopefully I can get up there and ask them how to ask, say their name. Because we do have a trip to Scotland and Edinburgh hey, and Scotland. From the cloud? Playing, yeah. From the cloud <clears throat> clan? So I don't know how available this is. But it's a excellent price. I lost my little... My little card I need at $9.99. So this is going to be the first five barrel cost rating we have had definitely in 2021. Did you get this in Louisiana for nope. your son? Nope. Probably in 2020. This is the first five barrel cost rating for a 750 we have had in forever. $9 um, in what sense? The price today online at the local big box um, liquor store is nine dollars and ninety nine cents. So we're sticking to the nine dollars ninety nine cents because then, because it's a five barrel, and then it's a four barrel for you. <laughs> you suck. So this is a five barrel on cost. So no matter what this tastes like, it's going to get a pretty decent rating. It's for the common man. It's for the common man. We would have to give it like ones on everything else for it, it not to be a three or higher. And it's 80 proof? Oh yes, it's 40% or 80 proof. It's blended with no age statement. Let me just read this cold bottle. Um, it's kind of cold label. It says, Glen Logie offers splendid beauty and serenity. Surrounded by stunning flora and fauna, it's heather covered hills form the perfect backdrop to this ever-changing landscape. It's ever-changing. Depends on how much you drink is how much it changes. I wonder if there really is a Glen Logie. <clears throat> Which Glen is basically means pasture in Texan. Pasture Logie or Valley Logie. <clears throat> Alright, so five on the rating. Wow, okay. Definitely getting... Something I haven't gotten in a while. I want to see what they're defining under... 
because I'm getting something a little bit different. Yeah, maybe. Okay. It's got something and I just can't pick it out. I'm looking at this wheel. Hey. <coughs> This is unique. Oh my god. It is so different on the on the mouthfeel. I don't even know where to begin. Yeah, we're going to have to uh, figure this sucker out. It's very it's very different. This is really different. And it's it's boggling my mind is what it's okay. doing. Yeah, this is completely turning me, and we are going to definitely have to revisit this down the lane. Um, we're going to have to look at some things. At $9.99, it's a five barrel so the, on cost. So that's pretty decent. I mean, that's going to put it high. For aroma, it's the aroma is out of there. I'm giving it a three, you're giving it a four. What's what's got it going for you? Well, it's I mean it's got the honey and the little bit of wheat or malt and it's just Okay. It's got so much going on. Yeah. It's hard for me to <laughs> decipher that. I think that's why I gave it a four, because I can't. It's it's really hard to figure out. It's got spearmint for me, malt, which is one of the things that you got, and it's the first time that we've picked up malt in a scotch in a long time. We tend to bypass that quite a bit. Yeah, we go more for the the smoke and the peat yeah. and stuff on that. Vanilla and a little bit of buttery baked goods, butter or baked yeah, bread. And you got the spearmint. I got kind of just the mint. Uh-huh. Now, when you add water, it changes it quite a bit and brings it back in line to me to a more typical scotch and not what it was. I don't know. For flavor, I'm giving it a three. I, I gave it straight threes across the board. You're giving it straight fours across the board. For flavor, uh, I get a salty brininess the first time I tasted it, but not smokiness. No, there's so there's no... no Oban type of eyelay thing going on here, but it's a salty brininess and almost gritty. And you can almost feel that grittiness on your tongue. Yeah, it's very kind of viscous. Uh huh. But it's not smoky. It is sweet. It's a little medicinal on the tongue. Um, part of that brininess. It's adding water to it definitely brings it back in line with a typical blended low budget scotch. But without adding water, this is something really flavor profile is really weird. Bite, I give it a three. I do think it's got slight lingering, slight aftertaste. I didn't lingering. really get the bite. You're though. giving it a four. So here is our ginormous. To, I have 14 points. You have 17. You have almost a full barrel above me. I'm giving it a 3.5, and I think that is based off of cost. This is not a 3.5 whiskey to me. You're giving it a 4.25 barrel. I think this is so different and weird, and I it's hard to get wrap your hands around it. It is. It's very hard. I just, I can't budge. I can't give it more than a 3.5. I'm going to give it 3.5. Oh. You're giving, a, you almost have a 4.5. To me, it's so unique and so, I can't, I can't wrap my head around it. It's so, there's so much going on that I'm like, this is so different. Yeah. So at $10, it might be in our best interest to go back to the store and pick up another bottle of this and a couple of their other see, um, variations and just start exploring this because this is way different. Yeah, it's like, 
I, I don't know. That's why I gave it such high, high marks is because it's just like, it's got me mm -hmm. boggled. It's... And, and the, the problem I'm having with this is I've never heard of it. It's not like, I don't know, something that is so different like a, a Ardbag or a Lagavellian that's not like anything else. Or an Oban, which isn't like anything else. You know kind of based off what you're going into because so many people have talked about it. There's reviews on it and stuff. I, I can't find hardly anything you know, on I've this. I've never even heard of this before. This is out of the ballpark. So tell us what you think. Definitely tell us what you think about this. Um, I'm going to have to make the thumbnail some sort of crazy type of thumbnail just to draw a crowd so people can comment about what they think about Glenn Logie. Or Glenn Logie. <laughs> or how you say it. I don't know. Um, tell us what you think. Uh, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Check out all of our other videos Monday through Friday. Um, and remember to hit uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and merchandise. Remember there's no bad whiskey. There's only great whiskey and... Or good whiskey and great whiskey. I'm so befuddled. Uh, this is a surprise to me. I'm like... Yeah. I can't say this is great whiskey. I can say it's pretty good whiskey. I just can't say it's great whiskey. It's a surprise. It's like... It's going to be needing more investigation. Yeah, it's... And I try not to watch YouTube reviews of stuff that we're doing. So... But this is something This that, is something I'm going to have to look at. Because it's like... I don't know what to say. I don't either. So... All right, we'll see you next time. Later. Bye.